I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way Riding away, riding away, riding away I just think I got the freaking hang of this I don't need no permission to make music, I lie Hello everybody, it's your boy Eddie. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword episode 16. In the last episode, we defeated Kabu in the fire gym challenge of our gym battle challenge challenge. And we procured our third badge up here in the top right. Right there in the middle. Huge, huge badge right there. Um, and then we traversed through the wild area. And then we arrived in Hammerlock where we saw uh, Olena, Chairman Rose, and somebody else? I don't remember who it was. Maybe Bayday. All congregating kind of in the middle of Hammerlock. So we're going to begin the episode and uh, see what's going on with them. And we're going to do that right now. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I had to clear my throat. <laughs> I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Payday. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the Chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. <clears throat> Clear your throat before recording. <laughs> uh, that's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Bayday, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? And there they go. But Chairman Rose has remained. It's me in my plaid pants. I hope you were listening, Andy. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. Okay. Welp. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Chairman Rose wants us to go meet him somewhere. Uh, I want to explore Hammerlock a little bit. There's a lot going on here. Uh, so let's do that now. Uh, let's, let's see. We have a clothing store, a barber shop, and whatever this is. What is this place? Oh, it's the Battle Cafe. <laughs> no interest. Let's uh, let's see if there's some new wares in here for me. I haven't really updated my wardrobe. There's a curly on the side. That's kind of cute. What do we got here? Anything speaking to me? Uh, not necessarily. I wore this uh, Kramer shirt for a very long time in my Shield game. But uh, we will not be buying that. Got some sweatshirts, some pants. Uh, nothing's really like... Nothing's impressing me here. Do I want a bucket hat? Maybe I should buy a bucket hat. Let's do that. Why not? Uh, blue bucket hat? Sure. I'll put it on at once. Sunglasses? No. No gloves. Alright, well, we've bought a bucket hat. A wonderful. I'm a very smart shopper. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, we got some stuff over here. We have a Super Repel. What's over here? Two Hyper Potions. I've been told that the Hammerlock Gym Stadium is located right in the center of the Galar region. Okay, thanks, buddy. Hammerlock is a pretty cool city, um, but I wish there was more to explore. Alright, well, this is leaving the city limits, so I'm actually not going to go this way. Um, something tells me we'll be going that way later on. Uh, let's go see what's going on in the other, the right side of the city. And then we'll continue on and see what Chairman Rose wants to show us. Uh, let's invade somebody's house. <clears throat> Hiya, they call me Mr. Focus. I'm so focused and super strong. Are you up for a challenge? Yes. Hiya! You have good focus. See the power of Mr. Focus. Okay, buddy. Black Belt Brian. He's not even Mr. Focus. His name is Brian. Alright, he's gonna throw out a Cottony, of all things. What's in front? Oh, we have Wanda in front. Well, we're technically mismatched right now, typing-wise. Uh, but he's got a level 2 Cottony, so is this really gonna matter? He needs a Water Pulse. 
But what's this? Cottony lived? Using a focus sash. And he's gonna use Endeavor. You're tricky. You're tricky, Cottony. And we'll use a pound. Just lick that thing up. And we've defeated the Cottony. What an interesting battle that was. <laughs> we now know how a focus sash works. You won the battle of focus. Oh, I meant to screenshot that. Hello? I just think that's kind of funny. Look at this stupid face. Hey, yeah, were you a bit surprised? There are so many ways to battle, right? Okay, I'll pass this focus ash on to you because you were so focused. Thanks, Brian. I am now Mr. Focus, not you. You are nothing, Brian. I am the real Mr. Focus. Alrighty. Let's heal up real quick, because Wanda took a beating from that cottony. Here's our team, by the way. We have, uh... Wanda... <laughs> I tried getting out all the names. Uh... You'll see them after. <laughs> uh, let's see what's going on on this side. I still have to pick up that Galarian Slowpoke, but I have not done that yet. I need to do that. Uh... Is a Pokemon feeling friendly towards me? Let's see how Wanda, my starter, feels about me. Pretty good friends. Oh, but Wanda doesn't like me that much. We could become closer. Oh, we got a Soothe Bell. Look at that baby choodle right there. Very cute. What does she have to say? Uh, no, I don't care if these Pokemon are giving their best effort. It's really okay. Um. All right. Uh, we can explore the rest of Hammerlock after, because I kind of know what's coming with the story. <laughs> so, uh, we can go right through the middle here. And we'll, we'll see what Chairman Rose wants to show us. Hello? Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. Oh, do you now? See? An easy... <laughs> See? An easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then, it's changed into electricity and the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Excellent. Thanks. Our lives in society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in Wishing Stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Elena decides to give me another earful. Endy, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head over toward Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find the vault without any issues. Okay. But hey, ball guy. Let's talk to ball guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. It looks like you've managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect ball to celebrate the occasion. I wonder what's coming. And we've received a level ball from Ball Guy. A Pokeball that makes it easier to catch Pokemon that are at a lower level than your own Pokemon. Sweet. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the imposing wild Pokemon, the easier it'll be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Yes, Ball Guy, thank you. Adorable. Look at him. I love him so much. Okay, what's this? You need to gather seven gym badges if you want to face the dragon type user Rayhan. And I don't. I only have three. <laughs> At some point, I'll be fit to battle Rayhan. We're loading. Okay. So we've been instructed to go towards Route 6, which I believe is over this way. I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm just kind of taking a while. I guess. Wait a second. Who is this? It's Leon. Endy, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But hop. If something happened with him, he was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Well, he got slapped by Bayday, that would be why. Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard losses in battle? He lost to that challenger, Bayday. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps. But then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You've got to think on why it was why, why it was you lost. <laughs> you know that little brother of mine. I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. 
Blast, and look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Elena really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Rayhan while you're here, Andy. He's the greatest rival I've got, and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault if you hurry. It's down that way, on the route way to Route 6. Alrighty. And away we go. Oh, wait, I have a bike. I forget about these things. Alright, is this Route 6? I think it is. Did I go the right way? Oh, wait, there's an item here. Come here. Two X attacks. That might come in handy. Hey, it's Rayhan. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? <laughs> nice. Ah, right, Endy. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Rayhan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokémon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? Okay. And away we go, into the vault. I'll even spare you one of my League cards. Thank you. Hey, is that Master Focus Brian? <laughs> Now on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. Let's go. Let's see who this is. You need permission if you want to enter the vault. Okay, thanks. Clearly not Brian. Master Focus. Master Chief. What's going on up here? We're going all the way up. Uh, oh. There's a little TM hit hidden over here. Charm? Uh, not a terrible move. Not a terrible move at all. Let's see. Uh, nothing over here, nothing over here. Alright, let's go straight in. Who's this? It's Sonya. It's lore time! Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasure tapestries that can tell us of Gal Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youths looking on the on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. The two the youths being crowned. Wonderful. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you most about them? There's two heroes? Bang on! The statue at that hotel in Motostoke only had one hero, no matter how you slice it. But here, we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. What have we got? Two revives. That's nifty. Thank you, Sonya. Cool. Anything else? She gonna keep saying the same thing? Yeah. What did happen to them? We don't know. Okay. Now we leave. Uh, oh. We have to go this way. Hey, it's Rayhan again. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Bendy. Your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself along the way to Stoan side. Okay. I will do that. Oh, where's the door? This is awkward. <laughs> and away we go. Hey, who's she waving at? Me? Hello? Oh, are you heading to Stoan side, Gym Challenger? Everyone knows that Route 6 leads on to that good old town. Alright, she's just waving errantly. Alright, what's next? We're loading. Alright, Route 6. Um, have we been here before? No, I think we were just on a similar bridge. Hey, what's this? 
What a cute Silicobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure Silicobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. Okay. Who is this? Hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure. Did you like my terrible grandma voice? <laughs> terrible. Oh. Oh, hey Andy, you're heading to Stow on side, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through, as he screams. And we're particularly not fond of kids wearing that challenge band. With all your stomping around, Silly Cobra is sure to wake up. Right. What do you say, Andy? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge at Stow on side. Let me think. Alright, uh, the reason I'm thinking is because I want to swap out my team a little bit. I want to use something different. Um, let's try out Flannery against Team Yell and just see what happens. Actually, they're going to have Dark types. Probably not a good idea. Uh, let's use Rosemary. Rosemary's a little lower level than the rest of the team. Alright, what do you say? I'll battle him. That's the spirit. You two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silicobra now, do you? I swear, kids these days. Well, we've got no choice. We have to send you packing. It's all for the sake of Silicobra. Okay. And we have a... Oh, it's a one-on-one -on -one battle. I thought it was going to be a double. Alrighty. Well, we got Stunky coming out, which is not good for our Rosemary, actually. As a, uh... A poison type. So, uh, there's really not much we can do here. Really at all. So I think I'm just going to have to hard switch out into something else. Uh, let's go into, um... Uh, maybe not Darth Maul either. Let's go into Eugene. Eugene will devour this thing. Eugene is quickly becoming one of the MVPs of the team. Bite, Eugene's gonna eat that up like it's nothing. Alright, let's start off with our patented fake out, and then we'll throw out a brick break. We are starting to get a little more underleveled as well now, too, which is, again, kind of like the purpose of what I'm doing. Like, I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> um, to make the game a little more difficult. We get hit by the Stunky Aftermath. That's totally fine. Eugene hits like a truck on literally everything. And the Shell Bell's pretty sweet at this level. Alright, so we level up Rosemary, Spencer, and Eugene. That's good. And we defeated the Team Yelgrun. Oh, wait. No, we didn't. Whoa! We got another. He's got a Linoon. Larian Linoon. Let's see if uh, this thing can take a brick break. It's gonna start off with a Night Slash. It does outspeed. Ooh! That was some good damage. It was a crit. That would be why. Can Eugene bounce back and knock out with a brick break? Yes! Eugene is so good. And we've defeated Galarian Linoon. Is that the rest of the team? I have no idea now. Let's see. Uh, yep, that's it. Blimey, even your battles are too noisy. Nice. Think I'll leave this to you, Endy. Keep up the pace. Alright, well, Pop is completely deferring to us to defeat both of these grunts. Alright, this Team Yell Grunt starts off with a live part. That's a little better of a matchup for Rosemary here, so we'll let Rosemary take some heat here. Uh, sunlight is harsh. Um... What would make more sense? Let's try a, a Leaf Tornado and see if we can land it. Oh, we got a Fake Out, which does uh, 13. We get the Cotton down, which is good. We probably still won't even outspeed because Lipar is a pretty fast Pokemon. Yep. Fury Swipes, we miss, or we avoid. Leaf Tornado, we do hit. Ugh, doesn't do a whole lot, but... Uh, actually, what what is Rosemary's better stat between Attack and Special Attack? Uh, definitely special attack, so Leave Tornado is the right choice here. Um, it's just gonna be a hopefully three hit KO. We'll see. Sand attack, that's not fun, considering Leave Tornado already doesn't have 100% accuracy. Come on, fight through Rosemary. What a beast. This should be a three hit KO. Let's hope we can hit one more. Alright, Fury Swipes, is this gonna hit? Yes, it does. We are going to definitely outspeed if we, uh, don't hit Leave Tornado here. This Cotton Down is gonna repeatedly slow down this life hard. Very nice ability. Very nifty. What, is it going to hit all four times? Or five times? It might. That's four. 
I'm just gonna have to bet on uh, Rosemary hitting this uh, Leaf Tornado. Oh, what a beast! All right, Rosemary three hits the Lie Part with Leaf Tornado. Not too shabby considering uh, we're five levels under leveled. Darth Maul levels up. Excellent, and we defeat the Grunt. Ugh, why'd you have to be such a bother? All right. Scylla Cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothersome kids holler some other day. Okay. And there they go. Endy, you and Eldegoss were brilliant together. Thank you. See? Bede really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. Oh. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. And I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak, too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Endy. Okay. Bye. And then Scylla Cobra's here. And it's just... Oh. Homies just slithering away. That's fine. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Who's this? Ooh, who's this? My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. If you remember, Opal is one of the gym leaders that we saw very early on in the playthrough. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Well, that's foreboding. Alright. She finally has slithered away as well. Well, I think that's a good stopping point for this episode of Pokemon Sword. Um, in this episode, what do we do? <laughs> we we learned a little bit more about Dynamaxing again from Chairman Rose. We defeated Team Yell, we explored Hammerlock, and uh, yeah, we know what our next destination is, which is Stoan's side. And in order to get there, we have to go to uh, Route 6 and fight through there, uh, which is a pretty fun route. I've been there before. Um, as I played through Galar before, so I'm looking forward to it. Let me heal up the team, and then we'll wrap up for real. What a what a good squad of of critters here. All right. Uh, so in the next episode, we're gonna actually explore Route Six, and we'll eventually end up in Stone on Side and see what awaits us there. Thank you all so much for watching Pokemon Sword and sticking around. This has been episode 16 with your boy Endy. See you in episode 17. Oh, goodbye.